South Link, and there'll probably still be people coming in from time to time. Um, but I just wanted to um, welcome you, and and I wonder um, if someone would like to open the meeting for me. Our by our. So as I said, welcome again and um, to the AGM for Waitakere Health Link. Um, first of all, I'd like to acknowledge um, members of the DHB, um, Mr Warren Thornty and um, Ms Sandra Coney. And Sandra is also our representative from the DHB on, on Waitakere Health Link. I'd like to welcome all members of Waitakere Health Link and also members of the public and NGOs that are here today. It's wonderful to see you, but to also acknowledge we've been through a difficult time and consequently in level two, we're still sitting a meter apart and some of us are wearing masks. Um, so thank you for um, caring about other people and, and keeping each other safe. It, it has not been an easy year, probably for any of us. Um, we've, had to, we've had a lot of challenges and I just wanna acknowledge everybody um, for however that has affected you and what has happened to you over this time, but also acknowledge all of you for rising to that challenge as, as um, people of the West and New Zealand um, wanting to keep us safe. Um, I've got a few little things I need to say. So if you've registered at the desk, thank you. Um, you've used your COVID um, application or you've written your name down, that's great. We need to try and observe, even though it's very difficult because as Westies, we always love to hug. We want to, you know, embrace our, our fellow Westies and the people we know that we haven't seen for a long time. But if we can try and keep that sort of uh, knowing that we keep apart a little bit. There's only water in the loud in here, only wine in here. Food can, cannot be eaten in here, but it can be eaten next door. And we've got a bit of lunch for you next door, all individually wrapped and safe and hot drinks um, in between the end of the AGM and when we have um, our DHB presentation from Mr. Mark Shepard, the Director of Healthcare Provider Services. Um, so welcome, Mark. Um, welcome. Um, we, is there anything else? Yes, evaluation. I'm just thinking about my riding orders from our coordinators, Tracy and Fahana. We've got evaluation forms on the seat. So if you would like to participate in evaluating, I think today, We'd really appreciate that. We like to get feedback about what we're doing. Can everybody hear me? Is this working? Yeah, good. I've got a loud enough voice, but I don't want to assume that everybody can hear. Um, so first, all right. 
So we have apologies for the AGM. Oh, have we got 10 members, by the way? Who are members? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think we've got our 10 members. Are you a member? I don't know. One, you remember, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, so we can commence legally under the Constitution. I just had to check that. So first of all, we've got apologies from Kay Lindley, the Deputy Chair, Pam Antill, a consumer, Wild Truckery Health Link consumer, and Diego Parler, Insit Kim, Rachel Avery, uh, from Ministry of Social Development, Family Action CEO Michelle Clayton, and the Nationwide Health and Disability Advocacy Services, Jeanette Kohine Tu. Are there any other apologies? No, thank you. So I'll move those apologies. Is there a seconder? I remember. Oh, David, thank you. All those in favour? I contrary carried. So we have the minutes of the last, last year's meeting. And I'll move... Second, oh, yes. Oh, Judy, Mc, as, a, as an apology, Judy McGregor, the chair of the WDHB, as, it will add to that list. Thank you, um, Sandra. So we've moved those apologies. So the adoption of the minutes from the 2019 annual general meeting, which was held at Calston Community Centre on September the 10th, that seems such a short while ago. Um, I'll move that there are true and correct record. Have I got a seconder for that? Maureen Wood. No further comments. All those in favour? Aye. Contrary carried. Am I up to apologies? So, Chairperson's report. Um, I don't know whether you want me to just take that as, take that as read or just Maybe I'll read it out because otherwise it's very short. So, kia ora mai tato kato. Welcome to our 2020 AGM. Um, and I think I've said that we've all come through difficult times. Uh, and we know that for acknowledge for some families, they'll be having tough times um, without their jobs. Waitakere Health Link continues to engage with and strongly advocate for the community regarding health access and support in West Auckland. This report covers my first year as chair. I've had big shoes to fill in following on from Maureen Wood, our immediate past president, but it's been reassuring to have her still with us on the executive committee, contributing and supporting. Thank you, Maureen. But we also celebrated her well-deserved Queen's Honour, MZNM, that's the other way around, MZNM, at our first face-to-face -face meeting since level four COVID-19 restrictions. We honoured Maureen's decades-long work in the disability sector and of course, ate lots of cake. Um, as the last three months or so of this annual report covers the recent COVID-19 pandemic restrictions we were faced in the March executive meeting with the questions and decisions that many community organisations had to make at that time. Fortunately, due to good governance decisions in the past and resilient willing staff, we were able to continue paying our coordinators, enable them to work from home and still provide consumer literacy feedback for Waitakere hospital departments. This meant a change in the way that we um, did that work um, and how our volunteers had to engage. But with some nimble moves from Tracy, our coordinator, we got a good system going and managed to have our consumer group review an exceptionally high number of health documents over the last three months through all levels of restrictions. In April, we all learned how to be part of a Zoom meeting. And I'm sure most people did. I report that it worked very well and now we're or much more digitally, digitally literate than we were in the previous month. The, the WDHB Consumer Council is now in operation and David Louis, our Pacifica Executive Member, um, was elected as the inaugural chair. So congratulations, David. That was very heartening for us, um, for the WDHB to have a chair from the West who also represents our Pacifica community. Um, he gives us a regular update on the work of the Consumer Council and listens to our views. And, and I hope that we, we do give you useful uh, feedback, David. It's been reassuring to see that our fears that the Consumer Council might duplicate our work not to be the case in practice. There is a good synergy between our purpose and theirs. 
We're still waiting for the DHB to employ a new community engagement manager, and this role has been vacant since December 2018. The executive has been disappointed in the long delay in appointing a new manager and continue to, continue to communicate with the DHB to encourage them to speed up this process. We believe this role is critical to ensure the community are front of mind at Waitakere Hospital. Um, following disestablishment of our sister organisation, HealthLink North, the DHB have engaged Waitakere HealthLink to take on some of the work they were doing for the North Shore. So our brothers and sisters in there are getting that community work done as well by us. We've had monthly visits by different parts of the hospital and community health system to our committee, and that's been really good. Staff have been very keen to come along and talk to us and, and hear our views on your behalf. We've had Ranui, we, in particular the Ranui lab test was quite an issue with the Ranui and Swanson community. And so we had uh, Tim Wood come along from the DHB and Chris Davey from lab test to talk about that. And we were very excited that um, only a week or so ago, a new uh, lab test uh, office was opened, collection centre was opened in Ranui, across the road from where it was before, to serve those members of the community. Um, another uh, visit we had was about how personal health information will be accessed by uh, consumers online. And that was, uh, it's a project, so that was our, um, Egerman from the Clinical Information Analysts. Um, also how the hospital can improve their relationship with the local community following the COVID-19 issues. That was patient experience and the new GM of Waitakere Hospital. We've had an update from the primary birthing unit update from Director of Wood Midwifery, Emma Farmer. Enhanced residential care pharmacy service consultation on proposal for change. And a presentation on what community pharmacies offer from All Seasons Pharmacy, from our member Belinda, who is our community pharmacist from Te Aratu, who's also on our executive. So this has been really valuable, getting messages back to the hospital and to our, um, the people that are affecting change to make sure that the community is up in mind all the time. Uh, We've had no, just in terms of our financials, we've had no major change to our financial position, but we remain in a healthy position to be able to fulfil our purpose for health advocacy for Waitakere and Waira West Auckland. I'd like to thank um, new member Zari Felesnia for taking on the treasurer role. With her accounts experience, she's much more equipped to do it than when I got um, co-opted into that role. So that, that makes me, us more confident. Um, I'd like to acknowledge the great support we continue to receive from Dale Bramley, the Chief Executive of the DHB. We also wrote to acknowledge Dr Bramley and all his team for the sterling and critical work they've undertaken during the COVID-19 pandemic. It wasn't an easy time for them. Uh, and we also acknowledge um, the loss of the residents um, from St Margaret's in our community during that time uh, lost to COVID in those families. We'd like to thank our two coordinators, Tracy and Fahana, for responding quickly to the sudden, sudden circumstances that we faced in March and working hard from home. They are highly trusted and hard working pair, and we thank them for the great work they do on the executive's behalf. We welcome Belinda Robinson to our executive this past year. As a community pharmacist, she's given it some unique perspectives from the sector, especially during level four and three, and she often couldn't come to meetings because of the queues outside the chemists and the way they had to manage the in and out. So quite often she's on Zoom and she goes, just a minute, I'm just living out here back on Zoom. So thank you, Belinda. Um, also for what you do in the community. Um, as well as Belinda, I'd like to thank all of the fellow executive committee, um, Deputy Chair Kay, Lindley, Maureen Wood, David Louis, Awa Hudson, Samuel Cho, Peter Chan, Zari Felesnia, and as I said, and Sandra Coney. You all work as volunteers in your roles and give your all for your community. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. So are there any questions on the annual report? Right, so I'll move the acceptance of the chairman's report. Is there a seconder? Oh, thank you, Samuel. All those in favour? Aye, contrary, carried. So now we have the treasurer's report. So Zari, it's it's quite, pay, so that is on page 14 of this booklet. 
And I must say, I'm really happy with this booklet. It's a real. Tracy's done a great job on this. Um, it's really good to be able to pick it up and have it all there. So page 14. So, sorry, do you want a little? You don't need that? Outside voice. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Thank you for your time. Um, um, we know how precious is your time, especially at this pandemic, uh, coming here, giving us honor. So if you look at the financial statement on page 14, um, you see that we have the um, income of uh, 118. 515, which is a little bit less than last year. And if you go up, we see that we have funding in zero. It's not because we just we don't deserve the funding, but it's because we have been saving a lot. So if you if you come down and have a look at the bank account, and you see that we have saved enough to survive for many months, more than a year, without even funding. And uh, what we have here um, increased as our income is receipts from providing goods and services. Though we were under the um, very special circumstances for this pandemic, still we continue our um, good services to WDHP, to West Auckland. So this is why we have increased our, our revenue here this year, um, though we had the pandemic. Um, total operating cost hasn't changed a lot, so uh, we're still on the track. And um, uh, again, uh, though we didn't have enough, we didn't receive lots of funding, still we are on surplus. And um, we have um, uh, 235, $235,000 in, in, in our bank account. And, and um, so um, our account has been, has been reviewed by, uh, by, 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 yeah, by my phone, my, 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 my. And it comes clear. Uh, so um, I would like to take the opportunity to thank Linda for her leadership and um, other um, uh, board members for their guidance, expertise, and their input uh, for us to continue our services to our great West Auckland. Any questions? Thank you. Thank you. Adoption of the yeah. Yeah. So, all those in favour? Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Coordinator's report. Now, Tracy says she has to stand up the front, but um, Fahana, did you want to read the? coordinator's report or do you want me to do it on your do you want to oh okay all right so this is the coordinator's report from Tracy McIntyre and Fahana Bush so what a year but we've made we've all made it this far I can't believe it's nearly October I especially want to thank you all for coming along today after we postponed everything for a week braving the current level two and the lack of parking but we couldn't find a venue in the community at short notice Everyone here has a special part to play in the health of our community. Whether you are committed as an executive member on WHL or support Waitakere Health Link as a consumer attending meetings as a consumer rep, attending health literacy meetings to review patient information or attending focus groups on specific topics. You may be staff work that work tirelessly for a community organisation that support people to be independent and stay well in their homes. And of course the heroes of the year the WDHB staff who have been extremely dedicated to our community. We thank you all, and I'd also like to thank mm, the board, I'm going to say, and 
co-worker for HANA who go above and beyond in, in their roles. I just want to um, acknowledge, finish by acknowledging the passing of Natalie Carroll recently, who was a much loved consumer of WHL. Thank you. So I'll move the receipt of the coordinator's report. Is there a seconder? Thank you, Zari. All those in favour? Are there any, sorry, I, but were there any questions on the coordinator's roles or any of the work that we do? No, we were all okay with that. Just shuffling my paperwork here. So the next is the ratification of the annual membership fees. And we just have to do that every year, but we've just, we just decided to leave it at the same. So it's under the constitution 6.0 membership fees shall be set by the executive annually and ratified at the annual general meeting. So I move that it remain at $5 as an individual and $20 as an organization. Is there a seconder? Thank you. I forgot. Ever. Okay. Can't hear you. Heather, Heather Alford. Thank you, Heather. That was remiss of me not remembering your last name. So, um, is there any discussion on the membership fees? No? Well, I'll put that. All those in favour? Aye. Contrary? Carried. So, the next is nominations for the Executive Committee. Welcome. There's plenty of seats down here. Welcome. Um, so we have two nominations. One is from Kay Lindley as a reappointment, and the other one is from uh, Hinemore Key. Um, and Hinemore was on the executive a few years ago, but she has said to us, if we got a lab test back in Ranui, she promised to come back on the committee. And she said to me, well, now I have to be a woman of my word. So it will be very good to have her um, alongside our um, on the committee. So um, I just wondered, did any, I'll, I'll move those. Is there a seconder? Oh, Maureen. But has anybody got any questions about those two um, nominations? Because some people may know those people or some may not. Kay Lindley um, has been on the executive for many years. She's been the de my deputy and Maureen's deputy for some years and um, very, I suppose, very community-based, um, very active. She used to work a lot in the green prescription area. Um, what else could I say about her? Well, if you want something done, yes, if you want something done, you ask Kay. Um, the other person is Hinemore Key. Hinemore, I actually employed her at Rani Reaction Project some years ago as a community broker there. Um, she has grown in who she is over the years. She is... Um, Māori Pacific Heritage. She lives in Glen Eden. She works in Ranui, but also now is working in many areas across um, community empowerment and particularly uh, Māori, uh, Māori empowerment and engagement. Um, what else could I say about her? Thoroughly good woman. And I, she's also on Family Action Board with me. So I know that her governance skills are very sound and thoughtful and she brings another world view to what we do. So, is there any objection? But I'll put those nominations. All those in favour? Aye. Contrary? No. Kia ora, thank you for that. So we've got that. Oh, it says thank you time. Give a small gift, and including yourself. Ooh. So, first of all, I would like to thank the executive. Um, all of these people give their time freely, and there's a lot of combined skill and wisdom and knowledge and connections in this group of people. So, um, Awa Hudson, uh, David Louis, you might want to just stand up and wave. Awa Hudson, you know, <laughs> David Louis, who also doubles as the chair of the Consumer Council. Sandra Coney, and also doubles as, triples as many, many roles in our community. Um, Kay, who's away, um, she has to, because it's a school holiday, she has to help her daughter run the dance school in Glen Eden. Um, Zari Fazelnia, who you saw, who's our treasurer. Our wonderful Maureen Wood. Um, Samuel Cho from the Tani Network. Um, Belinda. 
and Peter Chan, I don't, actually we didn't get apologies, no, but Peter Chan is the local board representative. So I'd like to thank you. Am I supposed to give, was, am I supposed to give them a gift? I don't know. We'll do that later. Um, and now I also, who I want to thank is our consumers that support Waitakere HealthLink. There are document after document after document. This is around, um, the hospital give us documents and they want to make sure that they are reader friendly and understandable so that when you go to the hospital or any clinic, the information you get is legible. You know, you can actually understand it and it helps people through their journey in the hospital. And so we've got this intrepid group of mostly women, I think, of course, um, that sit with Tracy, they review all of this work and, and they come back with these really great documents and the staff at the hospital give really great feedback. They go, this is great, you know, because they're coming from a clinical perspective and they're thinking, you know, clinical speak, just like I get into council speak. Um, and so that, that's plain language for people when people are in vulnerable positions. So I want to thank these people. And if you're here, can you please come up? So Judith Lunny. Judith. So we thank her. Zena. Zena Romboots. We know Zena. So there's another wonderful. Nanette uh, Nadu. No, no, she's not here. Gail Ellison. Gail's not here. Oh, she is. Oh, Gail. Oh God, that didn't work. Hang on a minute. I think if you're really cool, you stick it on the air apparently, don't you? I don't know. I'll just want to hold it. So, to give you a wee, I think it's a wee candle. Thank you. Um, then we, yes, thank you, thank you. Um, and then we've, that was Gail. Henrietta Hickel. Oh, Henrietta. Thank you. Good. And I would normally give people a kiss on the cheek, but I'm refraining. So, so it's none. It's it's no less heartfelt. Um, Kiara Gustiger. Kiara. Um, at least you know who they are anyway. If they're not here, Sharon Madden. Oh, Sharon. Oh, thank you. There we go. Nice smelly thing for you. Um, Sharon Madden. Emma Frost. I haven't seen Emma. She's another great Ranawi stalwart. Heather Alford. Heather's here. Right. Now, here we go. Do you want, actually, I should have asked, do you want bergamot fig or something else? Luxury flower. Luxury flower. Here we go. Thank you, Heather. Thank you. Thank you. Here we've got um, Seriana Colati. Pink or green? Oh, it doesn't matter. You don't matter. Thank Thank you. You. Thanks so much. And then we've got. Um, oh, we had Sharon Madden twice, but I'm not going to do that. Laurel, jo Laurel George. Oh, Laurel. You want pink or green? Oh, I'll, I'll have green. Yeah, Thank no, you. Thanks, thanks so much. much. And Laurel, um, I'll probably get this wrong. Janika Omo. Omo. Oh, there she is. You'll have to correct me when you get up here. Uh, Janika. How do you say your name? Shani. Shani. Oh, good. Thank you very much. Nice to have a young person doing that. And then we've got Victoria Rasmussen. Not here. Oh, here she is. Okay. Hey. Oh. So, pink or green? Oh, green. Thank you. All right, so thanks to all of those people that give their time to make life easier for people who are in sometimes scary or vulnerable situations in the hospital. It's really, really valuable. Thank you. Now, we're done. A bit of paper. Oh, it's over here. Sorry. All right. Um, and I'd like our coordinators to come up here. Ahana. 
Come up here. They never get presents for themselves. <laughs> and they should. Tracy is coming. Right. This is to thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They've held the fort because you can be on a governance board, but someone's got to do the work and they do. They do a great job. So what we're going to do now, oh, we're just kind of in time, which is really good. Um, so now we're going to um, close the meeting. Oh, oh, do you have to thank me? Okay. I want to thank you. I just want to thank so nice to find somebody that could. <laughs> I love doing it. That was time. Thank you so much. Thank you. And thank you, Miss Maureen, for today. Give me the elbow every time. Thank you. Oh, a photo. Yeah. Maureen, come on, get a photo. There's these Facebook things, you know. Don't put it up too high, or it'll be. Hang on, I'll just cover it. It'll be good. Trying to keep a metre apart. All right, so what we're going to do now is um, we've got a bit of a packed lunch for you, um, trying to keep it all safe. So there's some nice wrap sandwiches for you. Um, and a bit of fruit and a drink, because we know we've got you here kind of in the middle of the day. And if you want to stay, we'd really like you to stay, because we have um, managed to get um, Mark Shepherd from the DHB, who's the Director of Healthcare Provider Services, um, with support staff. I think Shirley and David and Lara are here to support. And this is really... Um, to give you an overview of what's happening at the hospital and time to catch up. And it's a really good presentation. Um, and I, I really want to thank the staff for their time because we know they've got busy jobs. But so many of you are here. A really good opportunity to actually um, hear what's going on from the horse's mouth as, so, you know, as you say. So thank you very much. But we're going to have something to eat first and we'll come back here. What are we saying? 15? Maybe what we can do is, we're a bit slow, aren't we? At only 10 minutes, maybe, is it one fifth, need to be back here by 1.15, Mark? Yeah, not bad. Um, to make sure, so you've got a, a strict deadline? Okay. Oh, no, that's right. All right, so why don't we say so we're back here in about 20 past. Just time to get your sandwich, to eat it out there. You can bring water back in here, but you're not allowed to bring food in here. But also it's wrapped up, so if you want to take it away, you can too. So we'll close our AGM. Thank you for attending. Really appreciate your support and to all the NGOs that are here too. All the NGOs here, you can talk to them too. Good opportunity to hear what they are doing. Um, and, and we'll also be doing that from two to three. So they'll get up and do a quick elevator, one minute. All right, so lunchtime. Thank you. Kura, thank you.